when I was 16 years old, told my father, don't curse at me. And he looked at me. My mother had to run in from the other room <laughs> and separate us because I was not taken down and he was not going to be taken down either. It was that testosterone. She said, men and men, it's a challenge. And let me say this also. The father's hearts turn toward the children. May I say this as your pastor? Fathers, don't provoke your children to wrath by being absent. Don't provoke them to wrath by being a bad example. But mothers, please stop interfering with the father trying to make a man out of the boy. There are far too many ruined young men that have been ruined and wrecked by an overindulgent, spoiled to death mother who means well, but it's best to keep your feminine, beautiful, sweet, kind mouth out of the situation. Let the father deal with the boy so the boy knows how to deal with authority, how to deal with consequences, because when that father disciplines him, there is some kind of love, I can't get much help, and some kind of concern, but when the police get a hold of him, that's not his father. And young men understand that your good looks and your muscles and your suave and all that macho you bring to the table can take you from here to the door and that's about it. At some point you're going to have to learn how to obey authority and learn how to live within the boundaries of this life. This life is not just about you. You got to live within the boundary of the law. No means no. Stop means stop. Caution means caution. Pay the bill means pay the bill. We got to learn and teach that.